Welcome to our channel. Now you're probably wondering how you would actually store henna and this is exactly what we're going to be talking about. We had a few questions regarding this and I decided that we should do a video on this. You will need a couple of things, a rubber band or tape for sure um, and also Ziploc bag. This is to help store your dry henna. We will be talking about how to store if you have um, already mixed your henna paste and how to store that as well. Keep watching the video. If you have any leftover of henna, you would need to roll it up like this. So you're making sure that you close up the top portion. Go in, take a rubber band, wrap it around. Put it in the bag you received it in. And then you want to take out as much air as you can from it and seal it. You can store it like this in the package itself, but I do highly recommend that you do take another Ziploc bag and Put it in there and again take out the air from that Ziploc bag, seal it and store it in a cool dry place. Now I usually store this under my bathroom sink but if you prefer somewhere else make sure that um, no moisture goes into this. You can also take the leftover henna and use tape if you do not have any rubber bands to use. Simply just take any type of tape you have in the house and tape it. It's just basically you want to make sure that it doesn't own, open up. If you threw away your package, that's absolutely fine. Just take a Ziploc bag and just put it in there. But again, do make sure you take out the air as much as possible and completely seal it. This is to ensure that no moisture goes in there and I would still just tape it one more time over and again store it in a cool dry place. Now if you already have leftover henna paste, all you simply need is a Ziploc bag. If you have bigger than this that's fine because all you need to do is just take out the air and just squeeze the axis so we are going to put in here the henna paste. You can store henna paste up to six months in the freezer. Now keep in mind any uh, paste that you do store in the freezer when you take it out, take it out for at least two hours before application. Do not leave it uh, longer on the counter. You don't want to lose um, the color consistency that it will give you on the hair but do keep in mind that versus mixing fresh henna paste using that versus the freezer there still will be a slight difference in the color application now once you have your paste you want to make sure all of the air goes out Now, I usually put a date uh, when I'm freezing it so that way you know um, if you end up, you know, forgetting it in the freezer that, oh, this is when I actually use the application. Now, what I like to do is put a tape on this so it doesn't spread all over in the Ziploc. And then I would take another Ziploc bag and put it in there you could, because you want to make sure that no moisture goes into the henna to keep it nice and fresh. And you can simply store it in the freezer for up to six months. Now keep in mind if you have indigo powder, solely indigo powder, um, you cannot freeze that due to the nature of 
that it cannot stay out longer more than half an hour um, before application. If you purchase any uh, freshly made paste for yourself that's already made for you, you can just store it um, that comes in the package because it's properly sealed. And again, this you can store for up to six months in the freezer as well. We hope you enjoyed the video today. Like, comment, subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for a video that you like for us to do and see, please put it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.